So to get to this point guys, you need to be able to strip down your Steam Deck Gen 1 or Gen 2 to the point where you can remove the logic board, the main board in fact. If you check out the description below this video, you'll see our guide on how to do that. Hey folks, Neil from steamdeckrepairs.com, by the Spark Angels here, and we were doing, I was filming a video for this clear green shell conversion on this, uh, this Steam Deck Gen 2, Gen 2 with the different heat shield and a few other mods, and I noticed that this had had pretty hard life. Somebody had attempted to do it before, the owner had got it really twisted up, and that's part of the reason why we've converted it and also repaired it. But I was putting it back together, and one thing I didn't realise, and it was probably the main issue on on what caused the chap to have so many problems and actually just to lose patience and tear it apart in the end, is the fact that, as I was just nailing it back together, um, there was a broken SD card in. Now, if you have an SD card in your Steam Deck and you try and open it up, open it up basically. There it goes, how does it go? It goes that way. All right, the Steam, the, the SD card actually sits, as you probably know, in that slot, but it, produce, it protrudes, so it's almost flush with the back there. So you have a bit in there. Now, um, it must have um, been a really good yank. Normally it snaps this bit of the casing, but actually sometimes it snaps the SD card. So this video is gonna be about removing the SD card from the Steam Deck. Now, I've done this in reverse. I didn't take this apart specifically for this, but what you do need to do is get to the point where you have removed the, the board um, because it's face down, so you can't even access the, the SD card. Now, the problem we have here is normally when you've got an SD card in, you push it and it pops out, and you think, okay, well, that's the case. You can see, you can see it there. It's, uh, it's almost flush, and you can see where it's snapped. Give it a push, it'll pop out. Well, it's, you might be lucky enough to be able to do that, um, not in this case. So if you give it a push, you'll see it squeeze it, you'll see it push in, but I think because it's so burred up where it's all damaged, it doesn't pop out. Look, it's, it pushes in, it should release and pop out. It doesn't, there's there's a lot of damage on the actual card itself that's that's all catching on here. So I experimented for quite a few ways, um, because normally this is one of the, the hardest, normally there's a little bit more that, that's sticking out and you can pull it. Um, so this is my guide to actually removing it. So once you, it's like a small pair of tweezers, and you're gonna go into this, this here is like the detent, the, the spring that, that holds it in place. That is the only real entry into where the deck, the card is, because everywhere else is closed off. You wanna get the tweezers in there. Um, I wanna do it so you can see. And you can just see a very corner of the card there is get in there and actually push it out. Uh, so you, you kind of, it's just about, just under a millimeter, be able to get, you come in at the bottom and you push it up like that. And you can just see there, it's coming out. You just see, and you, you've got a little bit of red there. It's the SD card. You can get the tweezers in there again and give it another push. And you, if you're lucky, you can go in there. We don't want to go too far because you can start breaking the case and whatever's underneath there. Um, but there you go. It just gives you enough. You can see this, the SD card there um, to grab it and pull it out. And off it goes. One, one uh, Snap 512 SSD, uh, SD card, sorry. Um, yeah, so what you have here, there's a little, there's that cutout, but there's also a little spring that goes in there and it is that, it holds it in place. Or it just gives it a little bit of preload. You've got to make sure that when you do dive in there, that that spring goes back in place. So, otherwise the next steam, uh, the next SSD, oh God, I need some more coffee. The next SD card you put in is not going to latch. So you put it, you push the card in there and you'll see that push out a bit. So, you see it pushes out, you see this, that pushes out. If you get your tweezers in there, I'm trying to show you so I don't cover it up and do it, and you get in and you push it up like that, you can sometimes, that spring then gets stuck out. You see that spring there? It's stuck out. So even though we can get the SD card out, the last thing we want to do is to make sure that that is relocated back in. But these tweezers, I mean, get them off eBay or, or you know, sort of I fix it for the, but you don't want to, you don't want to be damaging them. See that spring is out there. The last little step is to just give that spring a nudge back in. At the moment, it's come out and down. It's, there we go. You just knock it up and it springs back into place. Again, it's all about dexterity and, and being gentle. You don't want to be and yank it out. But there we go, guys. Um, that is how to remove a broken SD card out of the SD card slot in a Steam Deck. Now this is a Gen 2 Steam Deck, I think this will work for the Gen 1s as well.
But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I might put a common issue. If you can't do that, if you don't want to do that, send it to us, steamdeckrepairs.com, buy the Spark Angels. Please share these videos across forums. I mean, there's lots of Steam Deck forums. It's free help at the end of the day. Um, and if you do get stuck, then that's where we could be potentially benefit. But if otherwise, we're just offering you the value of free guides to fix yours if you feel like you want to do that. Um, I'm Neil, Spark Angels, and uh, please like and subscribe.